What's up guys, Tommy here. This is the second time I've had to shoot this video, um, actually. Um, the first one that I shot was like 20 something minutes and I forgot about that YouTube has this uh, policy that says uh, no more than 15 minutes for a video. So I have to actually split this video up into two parts. Um, anyways. <coughs> Or, well, maybe possibly three. I don't know. Maybe I might just stop at ten minutes on this one, then move on and do ten minutes in the next one, so on and so forth. Um, anyways, I wanted to go over um, all the gear I've had over time. Um, I haven't exactly added up all the numbers. I just, I remember what everything costs in here. Um... And I'm going to try to go in some kind of order here. And it's basically by um, the gear that I've purchased. Um, or that was given to me by some gift. Okay. Now, keep in mind, I've only been playing guitar for about six years. But I have owned at least one guitar since I was about... 15 years old. I am 26 now. And the guitar that I owned initially, I'm going to get back from a friend. Um, his son actually passed away, and I haven't spoke to him in a while. Um, very sad. Um, I think it was almost a year ago now that their son passed away. Um, but I had... Um, kind of a knockoff model and it turned out they were made by the Martin Guitars, a real famous acoustic company that um, a lot of people think very high low, uh, highly of and they are great quality. Um, anyways, they, had, they released an electric guitar series back in the 80s and uh, early 90s called the Stinger um, and I had a Stinger ST4 and uh, uh, apparently my sister picked it up at a pawn shop somewhere in Phoenix. I don't know where exactly. Um, and it was 150 bucks for that guitar. Um, and I didn't know until years later that the electronics didn't work and you know stuff like that. I had taken it apart all the way I didn't I left the electronics alone though so I didn't tamper with the electronics and break them um, but what I cut out when I got my first uh, amp or whatever um, it actually cut out and I didn't get my first amp until 2008 and by that point I was already I want to say 20 I was 20 years old so f about five years later, I finally got an amp, okay? And that amp was a Marshall Mini Stack, um, which I, uh, I sold for 150 bucks, but I paid 300 for it. Um, great amp, uh, no, no problems whatsoever. Um, I wish I never would have sold it, but... Uh, I figured I had my half stack and I was happy with it and you know everything was great <clears throat> so on and so forth anyways um, I'm gonna move on and show you the first guitar that I ever purchased with my money um, it was not a gift and um, here it is my black Jackson dinky right here um, I am going to be making a few changes to it. I've already made one, and this the uh, Floyd Rose uh, tremolo system used to have the cheap, cheapy kind of Fender style bridge in there, and I only think those are great for hard tailing. Other than that, I, I don't know. I don't know how anybody keeps them in tune when they use them, especially in the floating position. But I was not happy with them, so I had to put the Floyd in there. There's a Kaler nut there on the end. Um, I'm going to change out the neck eventually on this thing. Um, it's going to have 
the straight down Jackson headstock with a maple fingerboard with black shark tooth inlays. Um, I, I put strap locks on this thing. As you can see, straps ain't going anywhere. Um, I love it. Um, and I also at one time had to replace the knobs on here as well. So, because I both of them had fell off. Um, I paid $220 for that guitar in Safford, Arizona at a place called Richard's Music. And they actually have um, some really um, good guitar choices for a small town. Um, that I'll say. Um, they are a little bit out of date as far as what's new and whatnot. They don't they don't get supplied very often. But anyway, but yeah, I got that there. Um, and uh, I actually bought another guitar in Safford, Arizona that I sold for a quarter of what it's worth. Um, I had a Johnson Acoustic, which was, uh, it was red. It was the second red guitar I had because my first guitar was red. Um, second red guitar I've ever had. I, I, the only thing i ever done to it is I stuck a Testament sticker on there. Um, I didn't really play it that much. I just sat around, collected dust, and um, so I was like, whatever, get rid of it. Um, $25, that's all I got back. Um, so, anyway, um, that was also at Richard's Music in Stafford. Um, those guys have made a decent amount of money off me. I used to buy my uh, chords and guitar picks and... Um, used to get my guitars restrung there and um, those guys do pretty good work um, and uh, I don't know there's not much else I could say I have to say the guitar shop is probably the only place that I really liked in that town um, just I don't know it, it just it felt nice to be there and it's real small and where I lived um, I lived outside of Safford and it, it, it was kind of a pain um, because there wasn't a whole lot to do where I lived. It was pretty much, you know, there was just houses, maybe a corner store here and there. Well, no fun. Um, anyways, so, also, and then in the, in the, around the same time, um, this, this was, I believe, my first, uh, Guitar Center purchase. Um, I purchased a Dean VMNT-X. Now the VMNT-X series is Dave Mustaine's um, lower end kind of series, you know, not the pro models. Um, I picked it up for 300 bucks. It, it was black, um, 24 frets, uh, you know, uh, string through, um, and it, it was it was a nice guitar, um, but it. I got rid of it for the same reason that I initially got rid of my first guitar. Um, it had electronic problems. I wasn't getting any, you know, I turned the gain up all the way on the amp and I wasn't getting any uh, distortion out of it. And I had the volume knobs all the way up, da 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 da, you know, that whole thing. And I sold it for $125 and I paid um, probably $350 altogether for my first Hercules stand and um, and the guitar itself and I sold a Hercules stand with the guitar for 125 bucks so that's that um and uh wasn't until a few years later I finally got another guitar and at that point I had only had the uh, Johnson acoustic and the, and my Jackson uh, dinky because also in the year of 2008 I think I gave away my stinger at that time to some girl that I liked um, so but um, I'll talk about the other guitar in the next video um, that's where we'll lead off so I'm gonna close this one out open up a new and see you Part 2.